Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be trying to attempt to repair a really quite severely warped vinyl. You can have a look at this. Yeah, that really badly warped. With nothing more than a couple of glass chopping boards. One and two. And also a random off cut of wood, which is quite heavy. So hopefully this will turn out well and I'll have a flat vinyl once more. So that's it. Today we are going to be repairing this vinyl. See what's happened is I bought it from America and it arrived mangled. Thanks UPS. Alright anyway, so first thing we need to do is make sure our well ideally you have pieces of glass that are bigger than your vinyl, but these are just a touch small so hopefully they'll do the job. These are chopping boards which you use for kitchen, so yeah, they should work. Uh, you need to get them nice and clean. I use actual record cleaner on them because it's well it, it does the job <laughs> so you just want to give them a nice spray make sure they're nice and clean this removes dirt so you don't accidentally embed dirt in your record when you heat it up okay the other thing we're going to need for this process is an oven the oven is sat over there and you want it preheated to about 80 degrees and we'll be using this oven in about 10 minutes so that should give it enough time to warm up so after you finish cleaning your glass chopping boards, you're going to want to also clean your vinyl. Otherwise, you'll get dirt on your vinyl pressed into it as well. Same thing, just vinyl cleaner. This time we're going to use an actual vinyl cloth because it's the vinyl and not a dirty chopping board. So, place these up, get nice and clean. And have some in. Comments are going to go mad at me for how I treat vinyls, but it's buggered anyway, so there's not much I can lose. I'm using this stuff because it's made of mainly alcohol and it evaporates really quickly, so you don't have to worry too much about getting them perfectly dry because they'll dry by the time we put them in anyway. Okay, so that's now. As you can see, nice and clean and ready for the treatment. So now let's wait for the oven to heat up and then we'll get to the next step. Okay, so the oven's now been heating up for about 10 minutes. So we're going to place the vinyl in between the two chopping boards. So we're going to place this chopping board on top of the other one with the vinyl in between. You'll see it just about sit down. The weight of these two glass chopping boards push the vinyl basically flat. Now what we're going to do is Push it off the edge slightly so I can pick it up easier. And then we're going to take it over to the oven. We're now over at the oven, as you can see, and I'm going to take the vinyl, which is in between this nice glass sandwich, put it on the side over here, so I can open the oven door. We're going to try and fit this right in the middle of the oven. So it's not too close to any of the sides. I'm going to set the timer to 10 minutes. I'm going to keep an eye on it as it goes. Okay, so there's 10 seconds left on this now. It's looking slightly shiny, so that hopefully means it's heated up properly. So, stop the timer. And that's how I try and curve the tapes out of the oven without damaging it. So, what you've now got to do is put this down on a flat surface, just put it over the edge here. Now, if I put it down on a flat surface, this will be quite hot because it's being in an oven. It's just about touchable. So, I'm going to take a big block of wood and just sit it on top. This is just going to give it a bit of weight to just try and help ease it on with flatten out. Now, we've got to leave this here for about an hour to make sure it goes to room temperature again. Try and prevent it warping when I take it out. 
So I'll see you in about an hour. One hour later. Okay, it's now been cooled for about an hour. So it's about time to see if it's successfully flattened it, I guess. So let's remove the block of wood. Put this down here. Right. Turn the top of the ball. Still a little bit of heat in it, but a bit basically cool. Put this on the side. Visibly a lot flatter. Uh, let's see it on the turntable and see how well it spins, I guess. The turntable generally shows if vinyl's completely flat or not the best. It's now time to stick the vinyl down my turntable and see if it runs flat. So, here's the test. It appears at first to be sitting relatively flat, so let's have a look. I would say that is running pretty straight. Let me zoom in, zoom in right on the edge so you can get a better look. There we go. So that's a perfectly acceptable level for it to be running flat at. I'll uh, now end a video of what it did look like before this, just so you can get a comparison. As we can tell, this has been a relatively successful method for flattening out vinyls. So I hope this has helped some of you, and I'll see you later. later.